Hello, my beautiful. Yellow bone, red bone, butter pecan, caramel, butterscotch, toffee, mocha, chocolate, cocoa, exoticals. Welcome to the Pretty Girl Club. Welcome to the Exoticals United community. If you're new here, welcome. Here in the Exoticals United community, we support men and women from the following people groups. Multiracials, biracials, multigenerationally mixed, and light-skinned golden people. Welcome to Exotical Cuffing Season, Episode 2. Has anyone noticed that everyone is obsessed with who MLS women date and sleep with, who we marry, who we divorce, and how we treat our significant others? For those of you who didn't know, Tia Mori is getting a divorce from her husband, Corey Hardick. I've seen people online saying that Tia's husband was a dusty, jobless actor and that he had way less money than her, and that's interesting that people are obsessing over Tia Mori's relationship. Tia Mori is one of the most unproblematic celebrities ever. We never see her online doing something ratchet. I saw women online saying that they seem more like friends than spouses. First of all, what is a spouse supposed to act like? Are you supposed to just be sexual all the time? See, the same people who love calling us whores and thoughts are the same people who make comments like this. So if we're overtly sexual, we're whores. But if an unambiguous dark-skinned woman is sexual, it's black girl magic and she's just being confident and she's a queen. If an MLS woman is a more wholesome woman who gets married, suddenly she's boring or she must be starving for attention or she's not sexy enough and they seem like they're just friends and not spouses. People did the same thing with Aisha Curry. They said, oh, well, their sex life is probably boring. And it's funny because I've actually heard that stereotype about the more wholesome MLS women who are not thoughts. People will constantly say things like, she's probably boring in bed, or she's probably a lazy sex partner, or she needs to be more of a freak. But when a mixed woman is like that, then she gets shamed for it. Do you see the double standard? But when it comes to unambiguous women, you can be a married woman and get praised for it, Kelly Rowland. You can be damn near asexual and unmarried and get praised for it, Oprah, or you can be a straight up thought and get praised for it. JT from the City Girls and Normani. Do you see how when it comes to mixed women or lighter skinned women, we are seen as the Barbie dolls who always have to fit into this cookie cutter mold that people want us to fit into? Tia Mori was married for like 14 years. How was that a failure? And how is it shocking that they broke up? People break up all the time. People always act so shocked whenever an MLS woman has relationship problems. They did the same thing to Danny Lay when her and the baby broke up. They did it to Neo when his wife Crystal broke up with him and they were like, oh my God, she got the same black man. And they make fun of exoticals and say that we only attract dusties and bums. But why didn't people keep the same energy with Mary J. Blige? Mary J. Blige is an unambiguous woman who had to pay her dusty ex-husband $30,000 a month in spousal support. Mary J. Blige was hypogamous. So how you like them apples? Why doesn't the black empowerment space use Mary J. Blige as an example of what not to do? Why do they always try to use the mixed women or the light-skinned women as examples of relationship failures? And while we're on the subject of dating men with less money, let's talk about Kelly Rowland. Kelly Rowland is a black woman worth an estimated $26 million, but she married a man. She married a black man who was only worth an estimated $12 million. And what does Tim do for a living? You guessed it, he works for Kelly Rowland. In fact, when you look his name up in Google, it literally says that he is Kelly Rowland's husband. That is his title. That is what you will see when you look his name up on Google. The black women empowerment space talks all this shit about not marrying the help, yet two of their black queens have married men who are their employees. Let's talk about Oprah, who is a highly respected, unambiguous black woman. She is worth 2.5 billion dollars, while her longtime baby daddy boyfriend, Stedman Graham, has a child of his own and never married her. Oprah has been the forever girlfriend in her hypogamous relationship with Stedman, and she has played the stepmommy role to Stedman's daughter, who he had by another woman. Why is the black empowerment space silent on this? And they also say that MLS women thirst after black men because we like being fetishized by them. But why does no one talk about how a lot of unambiguous black women thirst over non-black and MLS men and they love being fetishized by them? In fact, if you go over to the divestment community right now, dark-skinned black women will brag about how Massa wants to date the darkest black woman there is and how he don't want no light-skinned woman. He wants a chocolate girl. Also, if you look at celebrities, 
some of these unambiguous women are absolutely desperate for any man lighter than them. Look at Jodie Turner-Smith. She literally got down on one knee and proposed to her cheating white boyfriend and then rushed into having a baby with him. Oh, but she's a hypergamous quain. Kiki Palmer is another black actress who openly thirsts after any man lighter than her. Kiki Palmer has multiple clips talking about her crushes on men like Michael Ely and Tia Mori's ex-husband. And she is always posting pics on social media of her and her light-skinned sneaky link. Kiki Palmer is worth $7.5 million, and her light-skinned boyfriend is worth $1 million. Kiki Palmer's net worth is seven times the amount of her light-skinned boyfriend. So she is hypogamous. How you like them apples? Why does the black empowerment space not talk about that? Why are we all focusing on Tia Mori or Aisha Curry? Why don't we talk about all of these unambiguous black actresses and musicians? And then this same group of women will complain that dark-skinned black actresses don't get enough publicity. Well, of course they don't, because you're over here focusing on every light-skinned person in Hollywood, and you're busy comparing and contrasting our hair textures, our sex lives, our relationships, and calling us colorists. Black people chose to stand Beyonce over Kelly. The black community chose to watch all of those old black movies where the main love interests were light-skinned women. We didn't do that. The black community did that, and the core of the black community is dark-skinned, unambiguous women and men. So don't come over here blaming us for all of your problems. So what do you think, ladies? Are people obsessed with the relationships of mixed people? Do people see us as Barbie dolls? Are we more shocked when the pretty girls have problems, or are we just delusional and conceited colorists? Let me know in the comment section, and I'll talk to you next time. Stay pretty, ladies.